Hello guys, welcome to another video. Now this video is the start of a new series called Locomotives in Detail. Now this series will be looking at some locomotives that I reviewed with my old camera and the detail didn't come out very good. For example, my uh, Buckman 45XX. Um, so we're going to be looking at the, of course, 45XX today. And so the series will be divided into three parts. This, uh, Flying Scotsman, and the Class 153, which is away in its box. So that is it. Well, not... It, uh, right, so um, this is, as I kept saying in my other review, a stunning model. But this just picks it up even better. Yeah. So, what we have these, uh, I think they were Churchwood designs, these 45XXs. Um, what beautiful designs they are, too. Um, now, this is. Uh, oh my gosh, where to start with this? So, we'll start at the front. Got the lovely cylinders there and the front steps. Here there. See how lovely it picks it out. The ladder. And if you can see all the rivet detail on the front, uh, just above the buffer beam and the smoke box. Ah, out of focus. So that is stunning. I mean, traditional with Bachman, really, the quality is absolutely incredible. Got some lovely detail there as well. Uh, I actually don't know what that is, but if someone could tell me, that'd be nice. And the lining on this model, BR Black, and I think it's early emblem, should be, yes. Um, it's, oh, the lining's fantastic. Very crisp, see, look at that. You've got the water filler cap, and all the various other things on top of the water tanks. And the uh, traditional Great Western Region um, brass safety valve dome. Um, got this lovely funnel. Um, and there is space inside so you could fit a smoke generator if you wanted to. And see so we've got the, uh, the whistles which are lovely. The, uh, the boiler moulding is very good. So you can see through under there, which is uh, prototypical, which is very nice. And this linkage, oh yes, very, very nice. Now, here is, as Intercity82 would say, he loves his rivets. And so these are just for you in City 82. Ha ha. These lovely rivets. And uh, if I can zoom in on that crest. Look at that. Lovely. Right, so this is number 4457. Um, and it's, uh, it is marked out very well. Gee, sorry. Ooh, a bit shaky. Um, and, oh, you can see some cab detail in there. See the brake lever and the regulator, the reverser. It's all in there, believe it or not. Got the lovely handrails and the ladder. Now this this uh, 
the letter right there that is not on the other side but I have got it in my parts bag so that has to be glued back on because it came out of its holes and then the little tabs broke off and oh goodness knows <laughs> so um, yeah that's yet to fit so we've got the uh, got the back detail which again is very nice you've got uh, the place to hang or to put the shovels on got the uh, I haven't put the uh, blah, 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 what are they called um, vat bags on as of yet I will probably though you've got the hook for three link couplings and uh, sprung buffers and a NEM coupling and the coal load on this isn't bad um, I suppose I don't I haven't actually tried removing it so if anyone knows if they can remove it please do tell me um, yeah I mean the other side is just the same really and but the linkage is lovely it's very simple it's very very effective yeah I don't think I have any issues with this really to be honest it's it's just fabulous and but the smoke box detail on there is very nice oh. I can't zoom in there oh well so that is very, very nice. Yeah, as I say, NEM coupling on the front and the vac bag came already fitted there. As with the hook. So, again, lovely buffer beam, buffer beam detail. So that is the end of the first part of the Locomotives in Detail series. And I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, see you later.